G'day everyone, welcome to Thailand Rotro Mods. Today I'm coming to you from the palmy jungles of Thailand with a real barn find BMW. Now, according to the owner, this thing's been sitting here for 15, maybe even 20 minutes because I just pulled it from my garage over there. Okay guys, let's see what we're dealing with and let's introduce you to the new project car. Okay, so the exterior. Now, according to the previous owner, it has been painted, but it's obviously sat outside getting bird schmutz everywhere, covered in crap. Uh, grill's been painted as well. Got the cool kidneys going on there. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, sweet. Got some projector headlights next to some original looking ones. These wheels, I need to do something about them. Got the original wheels painted in black what flavor are they they're 14 inch flavor I'm not doing the styling any favors it's just a four door uh, but you know what these are cool and the best thing about this heavy duty clutch K Sport shocks and SR20 red top turbo so uh, let's have a look at what else we've got badges non-existent so I probably need to get some badges for it rear tail lights Slight crack, but not too bad. They'll actually polish up. Not seeing any rust so far. Under the guards, it's been repainted. I have to have a good look underneath it for any rust. Locked, not unlocked. Okay, it looks pretty honest. Nothing too much scaring me so far. Doors open, close nicely. Need some interior trim. Yeah, doors are nice. Really, not much to report on the outside. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get our Graham Hancock on and do some archaeology. Oh, boot pops nicely, so struts are good. Definitely different colour. Little bit of rust under there. Not liking that because it's coming through the paint, but we'll see how we go. And what do we got in here? We've got a battery box, good, telling us fresh battery. Someone's obviously been cleaning, which I like. Got a JBL. Nah, empty. Bugger. Little tire adapter. Got a couple of cleaning goodies in here. Got some cleaning wipes as well, so we'll put all those. Got a nice little box too, so we'll put all those in there. Oh, got a battery tie down, liking that. Got some Scruffit flavour 3M creams, degreases, and abrades in one easy step. Scruff it paint prep gel. Okay, so we're not prepping any paint. What else have we got? Okay, time up, not helping. And we've got some, there we go, got some multimeters. Empty, not helping. Someone's tried to put HIDs in it and sided against it. And yeah, rat poo. Rat poo up under there, don't know if you can see that. And a bit of surface rust. Oops. I'm squeeze here, let's get this nice and open. Get everything out of the way. Okay, got another spare. Factory colour. And minimal rust. Seems to be coming from the top, so probably just water laying in here. out. Nah, I'll pull them out later, but yeah, even got the factory sand deadening under there and the lights working. So yeah, okay. Got the rubbers, so nice. So whoever painted this spent the time to put the rubbers back on, which I like. So yeah, not hateful at all. No rust in the seals, which is good, but we do have to give them a good clean out. So yeah, that's the boot. Cleaning station, and first thing I always do is Give the outside and everything and under the bonnet and everywhere. Good old bath with some engine cleaner. Not scrubbing it in, I'm literally just hosing it on, let it bake in the tire sun, then hosing it off just to get all the loose contaminants off the top layer. So, <clears throat> just gonna start with a degrease. I'm just gonna do the front quarter panels and stuff first and the bonnet 
because I'm going to get to the rest of the car later but I just wanted to let this soak in. I do have a meeting soon so I'm not going to have a whole heap of time. Obviously disconnect your battery and another tip is when you're using the snow, snow gun, where is she? She's over here. Literally just a pressure washer hose with a container on there. Put it in there. Nice, good layer. Let her soak in there, let her drink all that up. Now, um, one tip is do it from both sides. So stand on both sides, because guaranteed you'll miss out all under here. And the other side probably should have uh, covered up the fuse box first. But what I'll do, it's got the battery disconnected, remind you. I'll get the air gun out there and do this, but I'm gonna go through every single fuse and relay in the whole car anyway. And what we'll do is let this soak. And then we're just gonna pressure wash it off. And then the next one is to do it again under the engine bay degreasing, not for the body. And then we'll have a little brush and we'll just brush everything with a detailing brush. See how we can get it to come back. Okay, gave her a good soak and a hose down. Fuse box is looking really clean. That's that's good news here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, nice orange on the case sports and we've got some white starting to happen. So that's all good news. Cleaned out the gutter trays. Thought there might have been some rust, but turns out it's just mold. So that's good. Still no major rust found anywhere, so that's good. Next step's gonna to be to get her up off the ground, have a squeeze under her skirt though. All this could do with some real good cleaning out though. Same with this, these clean up really well. Might take them off and vapor blast them and get the aluminium done at the same time so she looks nice and shiny, but we'll see how we go first. But yeah, there you go, first look. And the paints, uh, yeah, that bird shite is gonna come off. And make sure you stay tuned for the next episode where we try to get the engine running right. She's got some pretty nasty idling issues, which could be the throttle body. And we also get stuck into the paintwork, making her look nice and shiny again before we send it off to the paint booth to get it looking good. And we also have some new BMW goodies for her. So stay tuned for the next episode.